Hello everyone. Now we will move on to our third step of the requirement. We will migrate the employee data using business object method of LSMW or we can say we will use the BAPI with IDOC interface method of LSMW. When we started with this topic, what we did firstly based upon our requirement, we created the BAPI. As a part of BAPI, we created two things. Firstly, we created the function module and then we created the business object of the function module to make a BAPI. After that, we created the IDOC interface or ALE interface of the BAPI using BDBG transaction code. At that time, we created so many things, IDOC type, message type, segment type, inbound function module. After that, we studied the concept of port, partner profile and process code. Now, first and second step is over. We studied the BAPI, we studied the IDOC interface for the BAPI. Now we need to migrate the data using LSMW and in LSMW we will use which method? BAPI with IDOC interface or business object method. Because our topic is this only, we need to migrate the data using BAPI with IDOC interface. Now, what we will do? Firstly, we will go to LSMW. Now, for LSMW, the transaction code is LSMW. The transaction code is LSMW. What is LSMW? It is a tool. It is a tool given by the SAP, which is used to migrate the legacy data into SAP. Legacy data means non-SAP data. The purpose of LSMW is to migrate the data from the non-SAP system to the SAP system. The full form itself is suggesting legacy system migration workbench. You will migrate the legacy system data into SAP system. Legacy system is non-SAP system. The system other than SAP system is called as legacy system. And our data, our data is in the file. We will prepare a file for the data. It means that is your non-SAP system. Now, if you want more knowledge on LSMW, we have a separate series data migration techniques. You can refer that series and you can study in detail what LSMW is. Now, before we jump on to any, any step of LSMW, we will create a file first, okay? And in the file, you know, we will go for two columns, employee ID and employee name. Because our current requirement is this only. We are migrating the data of how many columns? Only two columns. First is employee ID. Second is employee name. I will show you so that you can recognize fully. When we created the function module, whatever the inbound, in whatever the input is there, we have two parameters. We have two columns, employee ID, employee name. So whatever the data we prepare, it has two columns, employee ID, employee name. So I will open a Excel and I will prepare the data first. So what is our first column? Employee ID. What is our second column? Employee name.
I will give some data. Suppose we will create five, five to seven records. Employee ID 100, suppose name Rahul. Employee ID 101, suppose name Abhishek. Employee ID 102, suppose name Sethu. Employee ID 103, suppose name Shirali. Employee ID 104, suppose name Akanksha. So I created five records and two columns are there. Now you all know in Excel, whenever you are going from one column to another column, how you are going through tab, tab. There is a tab between each and every column. So if I will copy this data into the notepad, if I will copy this data into the notepad, so after copying, that tab is automatically there between the two columns. So tab is the separator between the two columns. And this will used as a identifying factor between the data of two columns. So in this case, what is our separator? Separator is tab. As I copied the data directly from the Excel to the notepad, so tab came automatically. If you are preparing the file manually, just put some separator. Suppose sometimes people are going for pipe, people are going for comma. In this case, I used tab. It's your wish which separator you want to take. I will simply, simply save this file. Suppose my name of the file is employee data. And this file, you can tell in simple word, this is your legacy data because it is your non-SAP system data. So this is your legacy data. And we will migrate this legacy data into the SAP system. This is non-SAP system data. Now we will go for the process. We will start with the process of LSMW. Whenever we will go for LSMW, the first thing that we need to do is we need to provide the project, sub-project, and the object. Now, what is project, sub-project, and object? Just only knowledge required this point of time is one project can have any number of sub-project and one sub-project can have any number of object. Suppose now we will create project, sub-project and object. I will click on to this create entry button. I will give some name to the project. Suppose my name of the project is migration project, suppose. Migration project. Okay, migration proj I will write. But the description I will write, migration project. I will go for enter. Now I will give some name to the sub project. Suppose our name of the sub project is employee. I will give the description sub project to migrate employee data. I will go for OK. And now I will give some name to the object. So when I in, in the migration of employee data, what we are doing, we are creating the employees because we are inserting data to employee table. Suppose my name of the object is create. So I will write object to create employee data. So I provided the three things, project, 
sub project and object one project can have multiple sub project and one sub project can have multiple object so what we studied in this particular video we started with the third step that we will use the lsmw to migrate the employee data what is lsmw it is a tool given by the sap itself to migrate the non sap data into the sap system to migrate the legacy system data into the sap system non sap or legacy one and the same thing the system which is not sap system the system other than sap system is called as legacy system the full form of lsmw is legacy system migration workbench it is used to migrate the legacy system data and based upon our requirement we prepared a file which has five records and tab is the separator between the individual columns we have two columns and tab is the separator this file is our legacy system data because it is non sap now after that in the lsmw the first thing which you need to create is always project sub project and object one project can consist of multiple sub project and one sub project can consist of multiple object if you want more detailed explanation of lsmw you can check the series of data migration techniques so that's it in this video in the next video we will start with the steps of lsmw one by one so that's it in this video thank you